What is something you love, but hate the fandom? Food, cooking, and restaurants, I love cooking, I love going to amazing restaurants, I love trying new things, but holy garbage can the foodie types be fluffing pretentious. My very favorite little sushi place was a complete passion project, it was started by a couple that moved from Japan a decade ago and worked hard AF to get enough money to start their own place. It's tiny, less than a dozen tables, the husband works the sushi bar and the wife works both the floor and does some of her own food in the kitchen, they got reasonably popular and eventually they could hire more staff. The food nerds still go on their Google review page and complain about how it ruined the purity of the food, they worked 7 days a week from 11 am to 11 pm for 2 years before they could get more people, it's as if the foodies wanted them to keep that up indefinitely. Cosplay, I love seeing the really cool costumes and ideas come up with. I make weapons and props and do a little cosplay myself. But the community is massively toxic. I just hate fandom in general, too many fandom members are gatekeeping junkies that get off on constant one-upsmanship and feeling of superiority they get from it. They usually attach way too much of their identity on their fandom. Supernatural, love the show, love the guys, the fandom makes me cringe. They've even acknowledged its cringiness on the show. Five Nights at Freddy's, it's just filled to the brim with edgy OCS. K-pop, lots of obsessive immature fans who objectify their faves. The dating, marriage, scandals, are the worst, how hard is it to be happy for these people that put so much time and effort into your entertainment, edit, I don't want to scare people off from enjoying the music, or trying to make friends within the fandom. I left the fandom because I got tired of the focus on negativity as social media grew, and compared to newer fans I was an old fart standing relatively inactive and or disbanded groups. There are tons of sane, normal fans out there to befriend, unfortunately, the crazies are louder and they're the ones we hear the most from, that happens in most fandoms. Anime, man I love anime but weeaboos ruined it for me. Bikers. I love motorcycles, but apparently according to a lot of them you have to ride a certain kind of motorcycle to be a real biker otherwise you're a filthy poser. Undertale, most of the fandom is fine, but there are some people who like sans a little too much. There's some questionable stuff out there. Uh, marijuana. Love pot, hate potheads. Anyone who makes smoking weed a part of their personality annoys the garbage out of me. Uh, Rick and Morty holy garbage that fanbase is garbage. The Broadway fandom, Jesus Christ, it's a bunch of theater nerds who make every character's personality based around what their gender identity or sexuality is, and this is coming from a bisexual woman from the Bible Belt, while also trying to make every show and song have some kind of political spin, you make a parody of a song or have someone cross-dress, a la what's been in theater since before Shakespeare, in a role and no matter how fun it's supposed to be, a horde of high schoolers with poorly edited icons of theater characters holding pride flags come to tell you how problematic it is. I'm an out and proud bisexual woman, but I tend to get a little bit annoyed when I go to scroll through the Broadway tag on Tumblr looking for what new shows are coming or have come to off-Broadway and I have to muddle through thousands of badly written dead dub, do not eat, slash fanfiction between Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson, with the comments all talking about how you should never write non-con or abusive themes or you're an abuse sympathizer. Good representation is fine with me, but clogging up my dash with posts on why someone is a rape apologist or this person is problematic because they like a ship? I want to die every time. Average anime fandom that fights about the ships of the series. The Rooster Teeth, Achievement Hunter fandom. Christ they are always upset about something. The Fight Club, the fandom isn't as big anymore, since the movie is getting pretty old, but when I first started taking film classes in 2002, Fight Club was every douchebro's favorite movie. It kinda soured me on the movie for a while because, although I liked it, it seemed like the majority of its fans completely missed the point and worshipped Tyler Durden. Everything, everything I've ever liked has had an abhorrible fandom, because even stupid annoying people have the same ability to like things as you do. I just like things and avoid the fandoms entirely, edit please stop saying things under my comment, my phone keeps blowing up and I just want to get through one thing. The Harry Potter fans. I don't hate them, but it's so cringy when people try to apply the house divisions on real life events. I'm a Slytherin but I'm dating a Hufflepuff, wow, can it work? Geez, the houses and their traits are so basically written, heroes, villains, the smart ones and NPCs, it's not a psychological theory. Star Wars. Harry Potter, as a teen that was the series that opened up the world of book reading for me, so yes, I have a bit of nostalgia going for it. 
But my goodness, the fandom, the Potterheads, are so godern annoying. God, everything they post, everything they have, everything they wear, everything they do has to have something to with Harry Potter. Sweet Merlin, HP is a series that you should cherish, not turn into a personality trait, I'm not even going to start about J, K, Rowling. 21 Pilots, used to be one of my favorite bands, now when I listen to them I just think of the fandom and it ruins it for me. Gotta be anime. I enjoy it a lot, but man is the fan base cringy. I mean for real, there is no reason you need a pillow with a darn anime girl on it. And if you do own one, there is absolutely no reason you should be taking it out in public. That's more of a hide-in-closet type of toy, and don't even get me started about the ones that just embrace the whole ninja anime culture as if they grew up in a darn monk sanctuary. Dan and Phil, I was into them a few years ago, maybe around 2016-2017. They've gotten better since then, but holy guacamole the fandom used to be nuts, they still kind of are nuts, but they used to be bad, like, finding their home addresses and filling up every YouTube comment section with, where the fandom at, and throwing fan material at you from every possible direction bad, it doesn't help that I don't believe in shipping real people. It really sucks because I like them as creators, and they've done so much good philanthropic work, but their fanbase just ticks me off sometimes. Steven Universe is creative fun and all-out fun to watch, it has its flaws but in the end, it's a fun cartoon. Now most fandoms here border at annoying and illogical, but the Sue fandom is the only one I know that drove an artist to attempt suicide because she didn't draw the characters fat enough. American Pro Wrestling is a mixed bag, the chants in particular have gotten really annoying over the years, imagine if you had to listen to people chant, that was awesome, every time some dude makes a three-point shot. Sorry, I'm not up to speed when it comes to which basketball dudes are good. Tesla, but man most of the fans are blind followers and can't take any criticism at all, actually that's a problem with most fans of anything. Surprised Sonic the Hedgehog hasn't been mentioned. OMG, Beyonce's Beehive, talk about hive mind in action. Half the time I'm not altogether certain most of them even know WTF they're pissed off about, usually some other singer and how she's ripping off Beyonce come on man, y'all know she don't write her own garbage, get over it and just enjoy, mk? Overwatch and its community. I absolutely love Overwatch, as in the game, but I would rather stay away from its community. Beer and Scotch snobs. I enjoy both beverages but I can't stand the pretentious nonsense that the other slightly overweight bearded bros in their 30s spout off, trying to find a simple review of a new beer or whiskey online is impossible because of these people, is it hoppy? Does it taste like piss? These are the things I care about. I don't care if the inviting aroma offers the faint whisper of hops that sets it apart from your more pedestrian west coast IPAS blah 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 fluff off. F anything I really like actually. I don't want other people ruining my enjoyment, so I tend to skip conventions or other get-togethers, for example, I went to the La Anime Expo a few years ago for a Sailor Moon event. I've loved Sailor Moon for over 20 years, but I became so annoyed at others around me, just not for me I guess. Yeah, not something but Billie Eilish, I love her songs but most of her fandom is toxic and full of fake depressed teenagers. The new Voltron, Legendary Defender. I loved the show up till the ending, but I still felt happy and emotional over it. The whole mess over sending the voice actors and producers death threats and stuff was way over the line. I understand some of the anger and frustration that occurred, but a majority of the fandom just took it too far. Oof, zero waste. It's something I have gotten into lately, but followers have become the worst, if you're not vegan or doing everything you can you are part of the problem. Habits take time. Being vegan and zero waste is large startup capital. I am doing what I can. Jesus is a cool guy, but his fandom? Nah. My chemical romance, like, man, I really love the music, and the old members and their current music, but Jesus Christ the fandom is obsessive, all they do is complain about how they wanted them to reform and I'm like, can you not see that that isn't going to happen, all the members have families and are doing different things and we should be happy they're all still doing something. I hate the fanbase so much because as soon as someone says, we should respect them the way they are, suddenly everyone is attacking that person and it's horrible, all they care about is my chemical romance reforming or having a reunion or something and it sucks. Punk and metal music, fans just say any of it that they don't like doesn't actually count. Gravity Falls is a great show and all but the fandom I really hate. 
and hash X200B, a majority of the ships are, well, sibling X sibling or million year old demon X human character, the fandom ships two specific ships like crazy, it's awful that such a great show could have such a horrible fandom. Scottish castles, especially places that have been used as filming locations, and hash X200B, I'm talking about you in particular, Dune Castle. <laughs>